Greetings to everyone who's gathered for this launch of the report of the Lancet Rockefeller Foundation Commission on Planetary Health. And I do congratulate the Lancet and the Rockefeller Foundation on the report. It is compelling in setting out the strong links between the state of human health and of our environment. And it reminds us that ultimately human health depends on the Earth's natural systems which sadly are currently being degraded at a rate unprecedented in human history. This Commission's contribution comes at a very important time, as decisions taken this year will set the global development agenda for the next generation. That development must be both sustainable and inclusive. In September, the UN General Assembly is due to adopt sustainable development goals and major agreements are also being reached this year on disaster risk reduction, financing for development and tackling climate change. The outcome of all these global processes will determine how human dignity and well-being and environmental protection can be advanced together. At UNDP we recognise planetary health as so critical for advancing sustainable development across its social, environmental and economic strands. The concept planetary health offers a new way of thinking about the health of our planet and its resilience in the face of the pressures of climate change, urbanisation and globalisation to name just a few. Put simply, if we don't collectively take far greater care of the planet on which we live, there will be very negative impact on our health as individuals, communities and societies. So this report is a very important guide to how the world could change course and advance planetary health. The time for action is now. The health of people and of our planet depend on that. <laughs>